With some things in life, appearances can be deceiving. Take this place, Eastern Oregon Correctional Institution in Pendleton. You see the softness that is really in their hearts and who they are as a person, not what their exterior says that they are. This is Joy St. Peter. She has given us all a second chance at redemption. With plenty of help from these four-legged friends. I'm happy to welcome you to our Joys of Living Assistance Dogs Passing of the Leash Ceremony. Known around here as the JLAD program. The facilitators, who are an extension of Miss St. Peter herself. This is River. Joy founded the Salem-based nonprofit in 2004 and took the training inside the walls of this medium security prison eight years ago. I couldn't get enough volunteers to help out enough. With a captive group of trainers, the organization flourished. And so did the lives of these inmates turned dog whisperers. If you look deeper, this is much more than dog training. If you get really nervous, Ozzy, come. he'll just come and stick his head down there and he'll sit there just to make sure you're okay. Ozzy. And then if you tell him, enough, I'm all right, he knows that you're okay. Was trained in part by Elias Ward. You know, this is my fourth time, unfortunately, in prison. And the first three times I was in prison, he just kind of felt like I was wasting my life sitting around waiting to get out. And now it's just it's kind of given me a purpose and a meaning. Yes. <laughs> Ozzy's next purpose to help Julia Lavoie. I've been struggling for a really long time from post-traumatic stress disorder, and uh, it gives me a lot of social anxiety and some uh, related OCD behaviors. The three met today for the very first time. But Ozzy knows the inmates well. The dogs train throughout the day and even sleep in the inmates' cells. <laughs> rotating out every two weeks to volunteers in the community for continued obedience work a process lasting 18 months to two years. We learn important life skills here, such as communication, not just with our dogs, but with each other. The dogs learn too. Travis will lead Yukon between his legs and supports him to sit. Tia quickly crawls under the chair, makes a three-point turn, and assumes a down position. She relocates her balance point each time. Success. And quickly, gets the meds and retrieves them. But Daniel's straying off, he doesn't know. Summer returns the helper and brings them back to her handler. Providing their humans a newfound sense of freedom and independence. I didn't think I'd ever come back this way. Two things Steve Merez now has. I think the only freedom that we get is when we have the leash in our hand. He was a trainer for the first class of graduates and a participant in the program until his release. Graduated seven, including Pisces. I remember he had a big face, he was lovable. Okay, let's go. Meet Pisces. That's where he really shines for me. A JLAD service dog, helping Steve Van Dyke of Bend navigate life with Parkinson's. I have a hard time walking across nondescript areas, like the road, open field, I can't seem to pick my way through it, and so I'll tend to freeze when I get out in those situations. An avid outdoorsman, he lost that independence until he received his first JLAD dog named Jack. And not only did I get my life back, but my wife got her life back too. Pisces yeah. guides, provides balance, and can even fetch help for Steve wherever they go. Our favorite thing to do is fish together. 19 years living with a debilitating disease, he's had a service dog for the majority of his diagnosis. It becomes that you're a team. A return to some normalcy, now with the dog trained in prison. Their stories were amazing on how this dog changed their lives. Back in Pendleton, inside these walls. It's graduation time. To the recipients that are here receiving their dogs, their lives are about to change for the better, and I can promise you that. Okay, so the person that has Ozzy, please come forward. Elias's symbolic act of passing the leash will help Julia better cope with her disability. These dogs now make it to where they have the freedom to do that. I'm really looking forward to getting to know him and being a, being a team with him. Now he's over there, laying down by your feet. I feel like the luckiest person in the world right now. A feeling shared by these inmates who just lost one friend. A little tiny guy. Only to gain another. Just got him five minutes ago. In Pendleton, Steve Kaufman, Central Oregon Daily News.